Welcome to this two-minute techie tip on creating links in Google Sites. Our goal is to improve teacher productivity and enrich student learning by focusing on communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking skills in the classroom. So let's get to it. Um, a lot of people tell me they have trouble with links and they can never figure out links and it can kind of be a freaky little thing um, but let's think about this simply with a link I want to be able to click on text like this and go somewhere else go to another page so let's edit this page and I will just remove this I'll just remove this and I am going to say click here to go to this cool site all right so here's the text that I want to be able to click and I will center that so and I will make that bigger so we can all see it um, so I want to be able to click either on the word here or on this whole sentence and go to another location I want to bring my web page viewers somewhere else either to my another page on my site or a completely different site so of course if I want to do something to this text I always need to highlight it all right I'm gonna save this though for two seconds let's say we're gonna our first link is gonna be to a page within our site and I'm gonna highlight this whole sentence click here to go to this cool site and I'm going to link to this page the page we just copied uh, um, that was referring to digital citizenship so I want the text click here to go to this cool site really to go to my page within my site I'm gonna edit this and um, so if I were adding content to our new you could have on your home page links to tell visitors about your new content to our new video to our new project to our new you know document um, I'm just gonna say our new cool stuff so of course as I just said if I want to do something with this text if I want I have to highlight it I have to select it my little link tool is the only thing that I need I know I can eliminate anything else up here I don't have to make it bold I don't have to make it colorful the only thing I really need to pay attention to is this link button when I click on it and because it says it because I highlighted text it will bring up this page now this is where a lot of people get super confused um, I need to put in an address here and I'm gonna come back to this in two seconds because do you see where it's red always remember Google highlights the page you're on in red so let's say I wanted to take my visitors to page 3 because that's where my cool new stuff is so I have an option here sites page that means a page within my site and often teachers often forget that you know they can you can help people navigate just within your site and that can be super effective and make it easier especially if you add content you can use your home page just as kind of like your directory for hey what's new all right so all I have to do is click page 3 and then it will say oh there you go so here it's highlighted I'm gonna click Save and when I click on that you can see how my mouse changes to a pointer it will take me to my page 3 site all right so it's exactly what I wanted I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna click now we're gonna go to an outside web page this is edutopia if, if you have never been to edutopia you gotta spend about 40 hours on it it's fabulous um, we're gonna link to an outside web page so again I need to highlight this and a big heads up I already have this text as used as linking text to another page I need to remove that all right and if I kind of hover do you see how currently it shows the old link here I need to make sure that I remove that people will say hey I changed the link but it always goes back to the old link that's because the HTML the the 
directions you originally gave were not removed. So you've not removed that original link. I'm going to click here and say remove. Now I know my link is all gone. All right, so again, I'm going to say click here to go to our new stuff. Or no, let's change that to go to this great site. And you might want to direct parents to you know three four sites that you're using within your lesson or, or that you're sharing with students that's always a good thing to do I again I could highlight the whole sentence or I could just say click here let's try that again my link tool and notice it defaults to a site to a link within my site to one of these pages but I don't want that I want a web address and guess what I didn't do oh big big issue um, I'm gonna back up I'm gonna cancel that anytime I want to link to an outside source I want to start here I want to go to that Edutopia page and copy the URL copy the address which is exactly like if I were sending you a a letter I'd need your address this the URL <clears throat> is the address for a website <clears throat> I copied that I can do copy or command C go back to test site I am going to say click here sorry for the confusion go to my link I don't want a site within my page I want a web address and here it says oh you've highlighted text um, you've highlighted the word here to display the link. Now I need to get the URL in that. And I would never type in edutopia.org, <clears throat> even though I know that that's the correct URL. I would always copy and paste it from the actual site. All right, all I have to do is click OK. And again, that turned um, kind of into a formatting. It shows me here's my link. I say save and when I click here bam I'm going to edutopia.org that's exactly what I wanted so that's it that's our screencast on linking within Google sites and remember that with technology we can remove the limitations of the traditional classroom and advance the way we teach and learn so go out there and create communicate collaborate and think critically that's it